One of the biggest uh, parts of dance etiquette is called cabeceo. Cabeceo comes from the word cabeza, which means head. Um, and cabeceo is like, uh, just as you would say hello to somebody that's passing by, you have a little something like this. Um, but this is an invitation um, when we look at each other and I say, this is an invitation to, oh yes, let's dance, and then she will come. This generally happens um, across the dance floor. You know, this avoids uh, this awkward situation when you ask someone to, uh, to dance through word. So you don't have to walk all the way as the person and maybe even be rejected. Instead, you look from afar and if we catch, if she, she right now did, told me not, she didn't want to dance with me. That's what she did right now. But if I look at her and she nods, then I will then proceed to ask her for a dance. Um, another part of dance etiquette is um, wearing deodorant. Or having some breath mint and not going out to a pizzeria and having a lot of garlic and then coming to your partner and breathing into his face. It's not really polite, so keep that in mind. Also, uh, the way to say that you would not like to dance uh, to someone is just say thank you. You know, uh, and then another part is escorting your partner. You don't necessarily have to take your partner and escort them with hand, but it's very nice to walk off your partner off to the dance floor and then you can both part, you can both part, part off after that. Um, it is a gentle thing to do. When you're dancing um, in a couple, you never have a cut-in. So if, if Anna's dancing with Pepito, I will not ask for a dance then. I will wait till the tanda is finished and then I will uh, try to gain her eye to ask uh, for, for something. Now, cabeceo is not necessarily used everywhere in the world. It is um, recommended to do it, but from time to time, if you know people, you can just say, hey, would you like to dance? And, you know, it's a more casual thing.